black owned. It's about business, our business, our culture, creating legacies. See us, hear us, support the movement. We are black owned. So hello everyone, this is Tanya Michelle reporting here from Black Owned Reporting. We here at Black Owned Reporting are in the business of promoting entrepreneurs. At the end of this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we have a special treat for you. We have an entrepreneur right here out of my home state, New Jersey, the Garden State. Kind sir, kind ma'am, can you please introduce yourself to the people? Thank you, thank you for this great, great introduction. <laughs> I'm Eddie you. Saunders, and this is my wife. Perthia Saunders. Hello, Hi. and welcome How to- How are you doing? Morning. Hello, everybody. She, Thanks she for taking uses, the time out. Thank you, she uses her song, she used Saunders when we are out, but she uses Brown when <sighs> she get her checks. <laughs> Well, I can't I can't cash the checks with her. You know? I hear that. That's crazy, Tanya. In 23 years we've been wow. together. Wow. Wow. That's 23 a beautiful years. thing. years. And she beautiful. still didn't have she haven't changed the check name yet. <laughs> Help me out here. Any suggestions? And our anniversary and our anniversary was yesterday. Oh, and happy anniversary. I hope you Thank all you. have a great Thank time. You. Thank that you. That is great. That's a beautiful thing to see black love lasting that long. Oh, yeah. There you go. Really oh, yeah. A lot of um, oh, yeah. sacrifices, a lot of sacrifices. Yeah, I, 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 I gave a chance. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Mr. Yeah, Sanders, get... you are a celebrity. Let the people know who you are. Uh, okay, well, um, first of all, I'm nothing without my Lord and Savior. Okay? Amen. I have to do that first, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting a, I have an op, I'm getting an opportunity to launch my business, which I haven't really been doing as a, uh, an artist because I didn't want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. I just want only wanted to produce songs. Okay, and that was it. So basically, now I started um, becoming an artist, like maybe six years now. Okay, and I had to get permission from my partner of because. Course. We we strictly just doing gospel, but my record's been out for nine, since 1981. It's called yeah. Love Don't Come Easy mm -hmm. by the New Jersey Connection. You know, I wrote a lot of songs with different artists. Uh, Regina Bell, Please Be Mine, that's my record. Uh, mm -hmm. I work with a lot of different people. Um, Raven I, Simone, you know, yeah, start Ray, yeah, mm -hmm. on, I did, on recording. Mm -hmm. yes. I did her first album, Raven Simone. Oh, wow. Album, How when she was six years old. Mm -hmm. I actually did everything. I got the deal for her. I hooked her, hooked her up with the label. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was, it was kind of great. Okay. But, you know, again, you know, I'm just a normal guy. I'm silly. Mm -hmm. And I got a great <laughs> partner here, my wife, right. you know. You know, she's a pain, but you know, <laughs> he, he keep me in line. <laughs> a good pain, right? <laughs> so you mentioned that you're getting back into it. Right. So what made you decide to go back into your field? Okay. Into becoming you an artist? Answer that? Well, you know, well, he really, he's always been a producer and a writer. You know, gotcha. he never stopped that aspect of it. But the performing part, he just didn't want to be a performer. And you had oh, okay. so many people that he wrote for, and he put so much of his, you know, his heart into it, his sweat, his tears into everyone else. And then I said, wait a minute, you're doing all this for other people. You need to really do it yourself to show people how to do it. Okay. And he's been, he's been rocking, he's been killing. And his audience is, is great over in, overseas, okay. really great overseas. And, um, it amazed us when we went to London, right? We traveled to London and just to see how well he was liked over there was amazing. It wow, was really that's amazing. great. What are some of the benefits of having your own, being an entrepreneur? Well, first of all, I have to finish what she said okay. and I'll get to that part. But here's no what happened. She didn't give me permission to perform because I wanted to perform 20 years ago. Okay. She wait 20 years till like I get like, 
like I'm walking on a, a cane. <laughs> now she's saying, hey, now you can do it. Because she wanted me to be able to be paid up and, and, and serve God first. And that's really what it was. It's like, no, you, I don't want you out there because, you know, it's temptation out there, drugs, women, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. So she, she, had, she wanted me to be mature. I see. Right? And so once she made me mature, then it's like, okay. So she released that and said, okay, well, you know, we can do it. Because I wanted her to be with me mm -hmm. because I could have actually did it without her, but I didn't want to really work without her because she sings and do everything too. Oh, she okay. writes, so she's in the group. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt like if I want to be safe where I can protect myself from temptation, mm -hmm. because it's there, let's just be honest, it's there. Yes. I figure if she's performed with me, then I don't have to worry about that because I don't have to try to sneak and do anything. She's there, so now, you know, so that's that. So now let's get to your next questions. I'm sorry. I had to okay. throw that in. <laughs> I was going to ask the benefits of having your own, the benefits of being an entrepreneur. Well, the benefits are basically um, just getting paid. With, you, you don't have to pay the middleman, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, you know, you, it's a learning process, and that's basically the benefit of it all, mm -hmm. just learning yes. how to do what you're doing. Okay. And actually learning how to become an entrepreneur mm -hmm. from the door. Because a lot mm -hmm. of people are talking about how, you, you know, this the benefit, this the benefit. But the most important benefit of it all is being, getting educated, so That's to speak. Right. So, right. you know, just like you're going to college, mm -hmm. yes. you know what I'm saying? Yes. To get tuned in for your schooling, your teaching. Same here with us. You know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. wow. Did I answer that right? Yes, yes you did. <laughs> that was a great answer. But but the opportunity that he has for um, well for other people, you'll may you'll be amazed how many people don't know the business side. And he always teaching. He's really teaching a lot of his um mm -hmm. his coworkers, if I can say, the business side. How important the business side is because the history is the most black artists. They really lost out on being paid. Because mm -hmm. the business wasn't right. They thought right. more about the talent. And, and Eddie teaches them talent is only a small percent. The business right now is the largest percent. you got to know the business or you're just going to be screwed in the whole thing, mm -hmm. you know, you know, throughout the whole time being well, an entrepreneur. That's yeah. it. Lost in the sauce with Diana Ross. Yeah, right. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. a rhyme. Come on. I know, I know. <laughs> You have oh to catch it, God. Tanya. Please catch it. She's she's a trip. She's like, no, don't say that. <laughs> oh, come on, Tanya, right? Oh my goodness. You guys are funny. Yeah, she's a trip. Yeah, that's a lie. What's wrong with that? Oh, I got to speak. Hey, you a poet? You didn't even know. It. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So anybody who's interested in going into the business, what advice would you have for them? Actually, it's, it's bad to say this, but just like they tell you with the Bible, they say you got to learn the, the word for yourself. Uh -huh. You got to study. You got to learn the, the, the business by yourself. Don't okay. actually try to get anybody. I mean, the people that's going to show you or teach you, those are the people you want to listen to, of course. Mm -hmm but you really have to learn it on your own okay. because there's so many shysters out here and you got so many people. Now, maybe 10 years ago, I wouldn't probably be saying this. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I put it in a sense because I, I, I've been going through a lot with people who I trust. Okay. Who actually stole music from me. Oh. People who you thought were your friends. It, it's, it, it's terrible, but I tell most people, there's no friend in the business, mm -hmm. okay? There's not, trust me, because you got jealousy and you don't even know what they're jealous about because right. the talent just as good as yours is better. Mm -hmm. But I learned that the jealousy is just about you doing the right thing business-wise and trying to create your mind to, to add, add it up. Like, in other words, you want to add your music with your business. Right. I hear with most people, it's 95% business. It's only 5% music. Yes. 
Yeah, because your music can be great, but if you have no place to take it, well, it's, it's not going to do you any good. I hear you. And a lot of people, what we do wrong is we we let family dictate to us, like, what do you think? And they'd be like, oh, well, that's not good. Well, you know, and then we fall back into the seller again, you know, and we're trying to create it. And then the person who you least expect, mm -hmm. which is, is sad to say too, is a stranger will yeah. say, wow, that is great. That blew my mind. And before you know it, you're like, wait a minute, this person said they love it because they they're not judging me or being judgmental. Correct. Whereas your family is very judgmental. I know? see. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you got to get away from that. I see. Mm -hmm. But here's some hats. Let us okay. see. Okay. Set, set. Perfect way to end the interview. Let's see what we're working with. Ah, okay, beautiful. See it? Yes. She she makes that. that. Lovely. It's, a, it's a three piece set, but all of these are. It's, hold this. Head. This is how it starts. It's a it's a three piece set. Almost like a bonnet. Yeah. This okay. is the bonnet. The that's a hundred foot scarf that wraps around it, and I make the mask that match the three piece sets. But oh. the women on um Facebook, they're they're going bananas. See, um, it's even in the middle of the COVID. I'm telling you, it's just like you said when you when you know the business and yeah. you, you create something like I I teach um jewelry make, making on that's online also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks so much for sharing. And I make the hats for the nurses, you know. Um, oh, okay. But they they needed it like surgical caps, but they they buy them. This is this COVID is really scaring uh, people. It's scaring. They have to replenish, you know, their supplies all the time. They need to change these garments and these clothes all the time to make sure they're not infected. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. And oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I teach jewelry making on Saturdays, but I make these for men. And I mm -hmm. think this piece that he has on. Nice. I mean, but creativity is creativity to us. We have a, um, another business that where we paint murals. Okay. And he's a visionary. I mean, this guy can see it. Beautiful. He sees it and I just, you know, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. But um, he'll see it, we'll draft it up and we'll paint it. We go in churches, daycare centers and everything. So we do have different types of businesses, but um, okay. people so just have to, like you said, get rid of that middleman and create it yourself. Um, there's so many talented people out here. They you know, right. just have to use their talents. <laughs> To our listening audience, we here at Black Owned Reporting, thank you again for watching this video. Yeah. Until next time. Bye bye. Until next time. <laughs> thank you. Meow. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining.